Warning, you are not watching Siskel and Ebert. You are now entering Wayne World. So let's go back with another movie review. I'm Strange Wang. Today we got a movie review for that sick fucks Alec Garland's new film, Men. But before we get into that, social media, all that good stuff is in the description box down below. Coffee account, Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff is down there. You want to donate money, coffee account, Patreon, it helps out a lot. We also got a little heart thing down there beside the like button, which I hope you hit that later. And that also says thanks to us by donating a little bit of that Bob the Nero, that cheese, that cheddar, that mozzarella. Let's get down to brass tacks. I gave men 8.8 .8 out of 10 wings. Why? 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 Because this film is terrifying. I spent half the movie like this. Because sounds. Sounds sounds are scary too. Pussy! Pussy, pussy, pussy! Pussy! Pussy, pussy, pussy! And how did I achieve that level of pussiness inside of the theater? Because of good filmmaking, Alex Garland, he uses the tools of cinema, the knowledge from the trailer going into the movie, to be let you know that obviously it's a horror movie, and he uses these tools, these tight close-up shots to keep you on edge throughout the entire film. The music, the lighting, everything in this film is has a purpose to scare you, to make you tense, to have you ask questions, to have you tell the character that sick fuck's behind you. There's someone behind you. Someone's out to get you. Be careful. Wait. Stuff like that. And what does that do? That adds investment. Because this film, the writing is meh, it's, it's great. But you don't get invested from the writing. You don't get invested because you know this character. You get invested because the shitty conversation she has with men. That's the title. The dude is a genius. The situation that led her to rent this space for the week these situations are what gets you into her as a character that makes you root for her and that's good i'll just i like to know my characters a little bit better personally but different folks got different strokes strange wing he still enjoyed the movie he was so terrified throughout the movie what else and with it being a horror movie it scared me it did its job so you got alex garland behind the camera directing ex machina not as good as Ex Machina, but this film is quite amazing. So, you get an A-plus for that. The writing, again, is good. It's great. But, there's still room to improve. So, we're going to get that like a B-minus area. And, cinematography, incredible, impeccable. The one thing that everyone will come out of this film talking about is the ending and the message behind this movie. Obviously, with horror films, you can pack stuff in there that... If you say out loud, it's going to sound cheesy and corny. So, topics to debate. This one, masculinity, toxicity in the relationship, things like that are packed in here. You get to talk about it. You get to bring a friend to the movie theater, watch this sick fucking movie with. And you get to have these conversations, these opinions, these debates. And movies that give brain power, that give thought. This is art, this is creation, this is for discussion. I love shit like that. Which is why I gave this film a 8.8 .8 out of 10 wings. Tell me your thoughts and opinions about men. Bound, not all men. The movie men. Because i got some ex-girlfriends. They say some bad shit about Strange Wing in the comment section. Give me that funk, that sweet. But do all that. Again, hit the like button. Donate some of that Bob the Nero with that heart beside it. And most importantly, subscribe. <laughs>